In mid-November 2017, the top leadership of the Alliance for Change, AFC, had decided to revise its governing agreement with Coalition Partner, a Partnership for National Unity, APNU. This decision was taken after the AFC, the small of the two parties that formed government, had been accused of being coerced by its larger partner. However, leader of the party, Rafael Trotman, had committed to, write, to meet with the APNU to initiate discussions with regards to the revision of this accord signed before the last election. But several months have passed and Trotman is yet to write the APNU. This was made clear by Secretary of the APNU, Joseph Harmon, who said that to date no correspondence was received. There have been reports that the AFC was not too comfortable with the current Cummingsburg occurred which sets out how the two coalition partners would divide up the ministries. Under the current configuration of government, the AFC has received the portfolios of the Prime Minister, Ministry of Public Security, the Ministry of Public Infrastructure and the Ministry of Agriculture, among others. President David Granger, who leads the APNU, said the AFC is within its right to request the review and noted that he is willing to facilitate discussions regarding this review process. The party named a Cummingsburg Accord Review Committee of eight members, Dr. Vincent Adams, Dr. Rohan Somar, Marlon Williams, David Patterson, Joel Edmund, Sherrod Duncan, and one representative each from the party's Women for Change and Youth for Change groups. The AFC's National Executive Committee had mandated the party leadership to formally write the APNU with regards to the review and revision of the Cummingsburg Accord. This process must be completed by the third anniversary of the signing of the accord, which is February 14 of 2018. This newscast was unable to reach top executives of the AFC for comments. Samuel Suknanden, The Evening News.